What's That Noise Deep in the Wood? Written by David Mumford and illustrated by Yanka Fainer. George the Frog lived in a pond in a beautiful valley of green. There were rabbits and cows and sheep all around and they each had their daily routine. The cows mooched about, the sheep munched the grass, the rabbits played up by the mill. But none of them strayed into the wooded glade that stood at the top of the hill. What's that noise deep in the wood? It sounds like a tortured scream. That's Fleecy Bleecy, the monster, my dear, who no creature has ever seen. Some say she's a bat, some say she's a rat, some say she's a grizzly bear. But all listen in fright as she sings through the night tuneless ditties that carry on the air. George the Frog quite liked the songs that Fleecy Bleecy would sing. Surely no monster, he said as he lay in his bed, would produce such a beautiful thing. Her nightly cries were accompanied by a strange metallic wheeze. And by the light of the stars, George would strum his guitar and play along with ease. Shush, said the cows, aghast at the sound. The monster will hear you, you fool. When the moon is shining, you must cease all whining. Be silent. Follow the rules. They say that old Fleecy loves frog legs, and frog toes are her favourite treat. You better watch yourself. Think of your health. Stop blocking that guitar. Go to sleep. Oh, I've had enough, said George. What a bother. What a bore to listen to you bleaters every night. I'm going to that wood to find out for good what's got you all in such a fright. With guitar in hand, he hopped onto the land and bid his companions farewell. He closed his eyes, quickly prayed, then set off for the glade where Fleecy Belisi dwelled. The night wind swept over the hillside, chilling poor George to the bone. But as he hopped ever higher, he was filled with desire at the sound of the monster's sweet drone. Come to me, my beauties. Come play with old Fleecy, my loves. Come, newts, rabbits, moles, badgers, peacocks and voles. Come, moorhen, pheasants and doves. A cackly, tuneless, miserable song. And again, that strange wheezing sound. But George thought it was lovely, a symphonic discovery, and he threw his guitar to the ground. Oh, monster, he cried, with his arms open wide, what wondrous music you croon. Won't you come down the hill, show us your skill, serenade us by the light of the moon. All was silent deep in the wood, not a bee nor a buzzard did flap. Then... From out behind a tree, a little face poked free. It was Fleecy Belisi, the cat. Who dares enter my wooded glade and disturb my sweet chanting and prose? You there, green gabbler, you dribbler, you, you babbler, I'm going to bite off your toes. George turned on his heels and set off with a squeal. Back down the hillside he raced, and coming right after, screeching with laughter, Fleecy Belisi gave chase. When he reached the field where the animals slept, he screamed them all awake. The monster is coming! Everyone start running! I've made such a terrible mistake! Then through the mists they saw her, still warbling her terrible tune. And as lightning cracked the sky and fire flashed in her eyes, they all started to blubber and swoon. Cretins, she shrieked, and she gnashed her teeth. Boring little talkers. I shall play for you my newest song, and you shall join in for the chorus.
Please, no, cried the cows. Make it stop, moaned the sheep. Run away, said the rabbits as one. But George said, Aha, a harmonica. Hold on just a minute, everyone. This cat's got rhythm. This cat's got style. There's no need to holler and howl. What she needs is a band. And he held out his hand. How about it, my furry pal? Fleecy Belisi narrowed her eyes. Musical frog, I shall respond. I accept your proposition on one condition. Can I uh, come and live next to your pond? The thing is, dear frog, I'm lonely, you see. Something these imbeciles clearly cannot comprehend. Uh, but I'd been singing my songs in the hope all along that it would one day lead me to a friend. The cows hung their heads. The sheep looked away. The rabbits had tears in their eyes. What cruel brutes we are! George, play that guitar. We promise we'll listen this time. Bringing the harmonica to her lips, Fleecy shook her hips, and George picked up his guitar from the floor. Get ready, music lovers, he said with a shudder. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. George the frog and Fleecy the cat played their music all night long. So, in the dark, turn an ear, and maybe you'll hear them singing their beautiful songs.